God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, for 40 days we've been celebrating with joyful hearts the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, his bursting from the tomb and his defeat of the power of sin and death. He appeared to his disciples many times and told them about the kingdom of God. Today we recall how he left this earth and returned to his Father, ascending into heaven to take his throne over all dominions and powers, trusting in his reign over all creation and submitting to his kingly love, kingly yet loving rule, let us hear the story of his parting. The Ascension reading from Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1, verses 1 to 11. In my former book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus began to do and to teach until the day that he was taken up to heaven, after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles he had chosen. After his suffering, he presented himself to them and gave many convincing proofs that he was alive. He appeared to them over a period of 40 days and spoke about the kingdom of God. While staying with them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you heard, have heard from me. For John baptised with water, but you will be baptised with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, it is not for you to know the time or periods that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power from the, when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he has said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going, and they were gazing up towards heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood there. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up towards heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Alleluia! Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia! Almighty God, your ascended Son has sent us into the world to preach the good news of your kingdom. Inspire us with your Spirit and fill our hearts with the fire of your love, that all who hear your word may be drawn to you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I'm going to sing a song, Sovereign Lord. <laughs> Sovereign Lord, over all, you are reigning forever. Worship flows from our lips. We have come for just one glimpse, and we sing out. Majesty, reign in me, your right hand enfolding me, earth applaud, heaven sing at the sight 
of Christ the King. Lord of Lords, now enthroned, who can stand in your presence? Fire of love, Holy One, you burn brighter than and we sing Alleluia 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 Majesty reign in me your right hand enfolding me, earth applaud, heaven sing at the sight of Christ the King. Sovereign Lord over all, you are reigning forever worship flows from our lips we have come for just one glimpse we sing alleluia alleluia Majesty, reign in me, your right hand enfolding me, earth applaud, heaven sing at the sight of Christ the King, Majesty. between Ascension and Pentecost, we are encouraged to pray for five friends that they may know the love of God as revealed in Jesus. Let's bow our heads. Loving Father, in the face of Jesus Christ, your light and glory have blazed forth. Send your Holy Spirit that I may share with my friends the life of your Son and your love for all. Strengthen me as a witness to that love as I pledge to pray for them, for your name's sake. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. As we wait in silence, make us ready for your coming spirit. As we listen to your word, make us ready for your coming spirit. As we worship you in majesty, make us ready for your coming spirit. As we long for your refreshing, make us ready for your coming spirit. As we long for your renewing, Make us ready for your coming spirit. As we long for your equipping, make us ready for your coming spirit. 
as we long for your empowering. Make us ready for your coming Spirit. God the Father, who has given to his Son the name above every name, strengthen you to proclaim Christ Jesus as Lord. God the Son, who is our great High Priest, passed into heavens, plead for you at the right hand of the Father. God the Holy Spirit, who pours out his abundant gift upon the Church, make you faithful servants of Christ our King. And the blessing of God Almighty, who is Father, Son and Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you this day and always. Amen. Thy kingdom come, Lord, teach us how to pray for all to know your joy, your peace and love, and know your friendship each and every day, the breath of Christ the Father's gentle God. Set us free 
Black Kingdom Come 